Breaking news today. A Trump victory. What if? The war that Putin's Russia is waging in Ukraine is proof of that. What does a kleptocracy look like, and what would we do if we had one that was completely in charge? It's not hard to picture, especially in light of Putin's Russia. Putin had a fantastic plan after the fall of the Soviet Union and the end of the brief experiment in democracy under Yeltsin. He planned to use the Russian Orthodox Church's re establishment as the state religion to both appease secular citizens and inflame nationalist sentiment. He would make a propaganda show of restoring military and national pride. Whether he was riding a horse shirtless or submerging in the ocean, his cult of personality would become legendary. He would restructure the educational system to reflect his political beliefs and bring up the Soviet era to remind people of Russia's, then the USSR's, great power and fearsome reputation. Specifically, he planned to privatize all of the state's industries by giving huge discounts to his top lieutenants, oligarchs, who could then run the companies however they pleased so long as they continued to unconditionally support him. Many members of the opposition were imprisoned or killed, and the state media did little to nothing to stop it. At last, when there was no more looting to be done, no more state companies to sell, no more money to be made off his own people, he was forced to. On the right, he annexed sovereign territory of a former republic, Crimea, and on the left, he held the Winter Olympics to showcase how wonderful Russia is. He started wars in Chechnya, Georgia, and Chechnya too. Then he invaded the second largest European country after Russia, where he is now trapped while hundreds of thousands of people are being killed. Since his country is led by criminals, the military is ineffective, and false readiness reports make it impossible for troops to go into battle. If Trump is elected, so what? To appease the people against the nation and further inflame them in culture wars, does anyone doubt he would try to make evangelical Christianity a state religion beholden to him? Do you not believe that, while claiming to restore the military, he would offer the best Pentagon contracts to anyone who would give him fealty? He's on record as saying he plans to lock up anyone who opposes him politically. Right leaning states are already adapting their schools to incorporate political ideology into instruction. Could this be something he privatizes and sells to his cronies? Oh, and he's on record as saying he intends to invade Mexico. Totaling about 80 million people, we were unable to bring peace to Iraq and Afghanistan. Does he seriously believe he can take on Mexico's 126 million people? Even Mexico has trouble keeping up with the cartels, the ultimate guerrilla fighters. The current state of affairs in Russia can tell us a lot about what the next Trump presidency will bring for the United States. You dig it? Dudley Dursley, played by Harry Melling in the Harry Potter films, is Melling's most well-known role. His portrayal of Harry Beltic on The Queen's Gambit was one of his most notable. You wouldn't recognize Melling now if you saw him in Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, Part 1 in 2010. You might not recognize him because he's lost a lot of weight and changed dramatically. Due to Melling's dramatic weight loss, Producers considered recasting for his final performance. However, he wore a fat suit and continued to play Dudley. Melling's acting abilities, both on stage and in film, have been receiving rave reviews. You may recognize him from his roles in his dark materials and the ballad of Buster Scruggs. The upcoming Macbeth will feature both the British actor and Denzel Washington.